بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين Now my dear friends and students and colleagues and uh, those who are interested in learning the subject the art of internal medicine now we actually i was taking previously the infectious diseases because of the i was busy in the cpsp schedule work and that way i was not able to upload the videos last time actually i was uh, talking about the in the in the context of the infectious diseases that now i will i want to describe mycology that is the fungal infections because fungal infections they have got lot of dermatological manifestations and they are some of the sign cure of the disease so one has to understand the basic dermatological uh, dermatology terminologies lesions etc and professor siya the leader i am ordinary global professor of medicine without gaining any name or fame or economics this channel is free for all although people are not interested people are not interested but i will go and uh, through the my uh, tutorials <coughs> Now, the thing is this: Why dermatology is important, and that is what the what why why we are discussing dermatology. And this is the important point. Can you answer this question? If you are able to answer, you can go to the WhatsApp channel and uh, to to my channel and answer it. Otherwise, I will answer it. Now, first of all, the case presentation. To see the, what is importance of this is, this is Mrs. C. H. Shaika. His age, her age was 85 years. She was residing in Thirpal district, and she, her age was uh, 85 years. She is definitely female, and uh, she was uh, admitted in the. Uh, Hyderabad uh, Hospital, Government Hospital, Hyderabad, and in the section of the dermatological and venereal units, venereal diseases. That she was complaining of history of the fluid-filled lesions all over the body, fluid-filled lesions. Since about four to five, or. Uh, For 20 days back, so starting in the five days, and it is uh, it is covering a whole body in 20 day, 20 days. The history of the presenting illness is that the patient was apparently asymptomatic 20 days back. Then she developed swelling over the face with erythema, which gradually spread to the lower limbs and oral mucosa. Some of the blisters, ruptures with minimal trauma. And developed erosions in surface or open. The patient is see that patient had taken treatment from outside, which instead uh, instead lesion subside, and then she stopped for four days later, which developed lesion all over the body four days back. Now all part of the body, eighty percent of the body is involved that is to that she had taken homeopathic medications complementary medications for 4 days past is to where there is no history of similar complaint in the past she was complaining of the hypertension and is controlled hypertension with a regular medication and she is complaining of the chronic urticaria on and she was on symptomatic treatment previously she so is on the long acting antihistamine agent the personal history that mixed diet she has the vegetarian it is dominant vegetarian her sleep was an appetite a normal in the age of 85 years 
Now, presentation is that the patient is conscious level is okay. She is uh, any other things which is noted about her. She is not uh, looking anemic, etc. She is febrile and uh, there was a, the pulse is 72 by net BP is 130 by 90. Pedial edema positive. Hemoglobin 13.5 gram. WBC is 3,200. Neutrophils is 67 percent. Lymphocyte 28 percent. Monocyte 0, 3 percent. Eosinophil 2 percent. Platelets are marked platelets. Means that it is it is increased platelets. There is thrombocytosis about 450,000 about that indicates that what is the lesions are definitely has got a content of infl inflammation and it is acute phase reactant and this is maybe the possibility that the platelets are increased the BP is normal normal at, uh, I already said that and uh, the slide which is showed the normal cystic normal chromic type of a picture in the blood CBC. ESR is only 15 is written here. The random blood sugar 168 and uh, urea 24, creatinine is 0.8, electrolytes is sodium it was 131 is lower down slightly, potassium is 4.4 and serum total bilirubin is 0.9. I will only ask one question here, uh, why this sodium which is actually 135, 136 normal it is down to 131. Answer it. Try to answer it in the WhatsApp, uh, my channel, if you want to, you are interested, and in, in answer it. And the cutaneous examination of the skin examination that multiple fluid filled blisters present over both lower limbs and trunk. They are intermixed with the multiple round to oral plaques with central hyperpigmentation, these are terminologies you see, and surrounding erythema. These are the terminologies which we are using in description of a dermatological lesion. The large blisters present all over the right hand, left forearm, palms and soles, blisters presence. All blisters presence. Other, uh, other parts. So it means that it is a, a bullish type of a blisters. The oral mucosa is hyperpigmented. Heal lesions are seen. Hyperpigmented, but heal lesions are seen. And the color sky sign was negative. I mean, color sign is the sign. Can you answer this question? What is the color sky sign? At one time, it was a very important, uh, you know, phys in physical examination, it was very important, the color sky sign. To answer this question, if Nicolas Kassan, without seeing the uh, Google engine, we try to answer Nicolas Kai sign. Now these were the position of the patient that this see the blisters are present, bullous eruptions are seen. It is a bullous type of eruptions. It is a big recycle, it is bullous blisters. You can see like this, and hyperpigmentation around the area. The, the area of the skin between the two legions is normal. There is no erythema seen. So they are plaques. Means plaques means that two legions are near to each other, but the surrounding skin or interregional skin is normal. The skin biopsy was done at last, definitely. Although clinically it was the differential diagnosis should be made. And the result they revealed that the section revealed the skin showing the echinothylosis causing the separation of the epidermal layers causing the bullies formation. Now this is the 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 the, the very very characteristic feature of the lesion. While the supranasal blister contains the acantholytic cells, neutrophils and eosinophils. And the dermal papillae are lined by the single layer of the basal keratinocytes, so-called villi. There are dense collection of the lymphocytes, mononuclear cells, and eosinophils, forming groups in the superficial layers of the dermis. 
and at next to appears normal. Suggestive of the femphigus vulgaris. And this is the diagnostic of histopathology. Clinical diagnosis, differential diagnosis. There are a lot of other conditions in which the vesico bullous eruption occurs in the body. We will discuss it afterwards. But the thing is, the histopathology is the answer here, the femphigus vulgaris. Now, how this is, this is presented in front of you, and see there are a lot of terminologies I have just telling you the terminologies, extracting the, extracting the terminologies from this history. The why dermatology is integral part of dental medicine. For those who are only interested in the examination, this is one of the important parts of dermatology. It is about, comprises about 20% or 25% in some cases in MRCP part 2 examination. Part 1 also. And part 2 is very important. And part two, definitely there are difficult questions which are commonly seen in the Europe and they are asking that's why. Because you have to diagnose it first and then refer to the dermatology. So it is an integral part of mental medicine, otherwise you cannot pass this examination. So please go for it and even in the cases of step examination in America, they are also asking the important dermatological manifestations you are asking in the examinations. The important of the dermatology, is, no, this is definitely important for those who are preparing the examination, but actually the importance of dermatology is that the dermatology is a specialization that focuses on the studying, researching, diagnosing and managing the health of the skin, scalp, hair and nails. So all vestigial derivatives of the ectodermal derivatives of hair. The skin is the largest organ in the body and as a result, dermatology seeks to ensure that everything literally is skip deep continues to function properly. The skin deep. So all, if your skin is healthy, definitely you are in healthy state. If your skin is diseased, it means you are not in the healthy state. Although many consider dermatology a field that focuses solely on the treatment of acne, that is simply not the case because acne is very, very common in the most part of the world. They are not acnologists, they are dermatologists. So given the vast number of the issues that can arise in the largest organ of the body, it is skin, dermatology has considerable breadth and depth in order to meet the wide variety of the patient needs. And that is the importance. Other importance is this, that the over, you, you will see in the dermatology that the overcome acne, the teenager or adult, they usually come to you, treat the eczema or psoriasis, examine the skin spots, receive the skin cancer screening is important in European countries, treat nail disorders, there are a lot of disorders, spot early signs of more serious disease based on the nail health, address the hair loss and treat the scars. The dermatological manifestations of the internal, this is very important of the, as the internal is concerned. There, there are certain internal diseases, systemic diseases reflect on the skin, what we call as the peripheral stigmata of the disease. For example, in case of the chronic liver disease, you find there will be clubbing, you find there is pulmonary arrhythmia, you find that these are the important points as dermatology is concerned. You find in these cases the spada nevi, which are in the, in the skin of course. This type of the specific manifestations of the internal disease are called peripheral stigma or peripheral stigmata in a plural. Now primary pathology morphology is this, that the mecule, what do you mean mecule, is a flat region less than one centimeter, should be one centimeter less, but you cannot palpate it without elevation or depression. There is no, you palpate, you cannot, the region cannot be palpable. Now all regions other than that are palpable. The patch is a flat region greater than one centimeter without elevation or depression. The patch is a big one, the macular patch. 
The plaque is at elevated regions. It is palpable, usually greater than 1 cm, less than 1 cm, more than 1 cm patch, and plaque is at elevated region, usually greater, greater than 1 cm. The pure is elevated solid region, less than 1 cm, less than 1 cm, not more than 1 cm. If it is more than 1 cm, you have a plaque. If it is less than 1 cm or cm, it is called the fuel. Nodule is elevated solid regions greater than 1 cm. Again, it is a, a big one, nodular region. The cycle is elevated fluid fill region usually less than 1 cm. So less than 1 cm, this is less than 1 cm, this is less than 1 cm. Three regions. And fourth one is the pustule elevated pus filled region usually less than 1 cm. The four regions are important the macular, the papule, rosicle, and pustule. They are all 1 cm less. Otherwise, the patch is more than 1 cm, plug is more than, nodule is more than 1 cm. Try to remember these terminologies. Bula is elevated fruit filled regions. It is a big rosicle. It is greater than 1 cm. That is why it is not called rosicle, but it is called bula. Previously, I will say that the blisters, they are bullous eruptions. Previously, in the uh, case presentation, the terminology should be used, bullous eruption. Now, here the macule, in, they are, now, they are, there are other terminologies mixed with now. These are the basic terminologies, other terminologies with the macule. Example is tinea versicolor, it is less than one centimeter, the patch is more than one centimeter, it is a macular patch, it is, you see, in the patchy type of lesions in cases of certain fungal infection other than tinea versicolor. Pupule is elevated, skin lesion less than one centimeter, acne vulgaris, for example. Plaque is, it is a, a big pupule, which is more than one centimeter, like, for example, psoriasis. A zygal, a small fluid containing blister like chicken pox, varicella zoster infection, and the veal is the transient recycle. It is a veal, means that it is a transient recycle, it is gone. It is get, you see in cases of the hives or the articaria. Bulla is a large fluid containing blisters like bulla something white. Or you see in the front figures. Keloid is an irregular raised region resulting from the scar tissue. Hypertrophy, it is the hypertrophy of the tissue actually, follows the tumor to the skin, especially in the African American, for example, after doing the CABG, you find a linear scar on the chest can be converted into keloid. The scar is actually the, it is the composition of the collagen fibers and reticulin fibers. So the more and more collagen fibers are collected. That is the example. Yours, you will see the keloid. A lot of keloid region is, is the trypanoma uh, patini region, the yours. Previously discussed, I have discussed this condition. Pustula are blister containing pus, like for the impetago contagiosa. Crusty regions, crust are formed. Direct exudate from the vesicle or bulla or pustule. It is the secondary uh, change you see in case of the vesicle or the bulla or the pustule. Hyperkeratosis is increased thickness of the stratum corneum, like psoriasis. It is called hyperkeratosis, the black, uh, brown, uh, you know, thickness in the skin. And parakeratosis is the hyperkeratosis. It is hyperkeratosis with retention of the nuclei in the stratum corneum, psoriasis, and it is the histopathological terminology. And echantholysis are separation of epithelial cells. You will see in case of the femphigus vulgaris, important point is acanthosis. It is a histopathological terminology. Acanthosis is concerned is the epidermal hyperplasia that is increase in the tinea, is the spongenosum. It's already spongenosum that is uh, a stratum, a spinosum. You will see again it is a, uh, a histopathological terminology, skin terminology. Dermatitis is inflammation of the skin. It is a broad sense dermatitis. For example, dermatitis herpetiform form mis. And terminology is a you know it is a big terminology. Now this is the presentation 
Pas pour me kill. Le ten one cent demi de. Mais not palpable. Pas pour le spalpable. Le ten one cent demi de. Pas pour le spalpable. Le ten one cent demi de. It is containing the pass. The cycle from the three fluids are seen less than one centimeter. The wheel is a, again the macule which is larger in size, more than one centimeter. Nodule again is a papule which is nodular appearance now. Pustule, a recycle is seen. The fissure is a part of the skin which is seen, just like a, you know, there is a, it is a linear type of a induration. Erosion. Where the skin is, some part of the skin is lost. It also, other clear cut margins are seen. The base excoriation means that some part is is gone, with with inflammation or else lichenification is the thickening of the skin by rubbing. And keloid is the hypertrophy of the scar. But these are the terminologies we one has to understand: the macule and wheel and these things. The plaque. You know, the plaque is, a, is another terminology we use. It is a, it's a big one. It is more than one centimeter, but the skin between this, the uh, separate, uh, uh, the two regions are very, very distant away. Or bulla is a chain thing. You find crust. You find scale formation. These terminologies are intermingled terminology: crusting, scaling, and bulla. Bulla is a big, uh, you know, recycle. Uh, 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 you can see. And here it is more elaborated. Is is a bulla? This is a bulla. It's more than one centimeter. Pre fluid are seen. Is a big recycle. Macule, uh, you already mentioned out. I. The brown, blue, red, or hypopigmented, you have to describe all over. Nodule is a circular elevated solid region. This one is a nodular region. It's more than one centimeter. Pitch is only pitchy. In circumscribed uh, flat discoloration, you will find it's this. And it's more than one centimeter. Papule is less than one centimeter, you see here. And superficial elevated plaque, this is. This is a plaque. It is more than. One centimeter, rather more than two centimeter. Pustule, one centimeter less, containing the pus, and cycle less than one centimeter, containing the clear fluid. Demarcation. Now the history, the sign of the skin lesion. First of all, describe the lesion. What is this lesion? The morphology, etc. I mean, it is a morphology. You have to describe it, and then you see. The how much skin is involved, and then you see the demarcation. It is not well demarcated or well demarcated. It is well demarcated or not well demarcated. It means that this lesion is intermingled with other skin lesions. You see the demarcated lesion or the uh, or it is not demarcated. So see this is. One of the thing is the keloid formation, for example, scaly. Again, the cresces. Here you see, you see the cresces. The scale formations are see that they are uh, you know uh, glistening or they are shining. Scales are on this. The demarcating is it demarcated region or non-demarcated, macular or papular or whatever you describe. Demarcated or not demarcated. The size of the lesion may be localized lesion, it may be generalized lesion. If it is a just localized lesion, say that it's only part one part is involved. It's generalized lesion, but it generalized is lesion distributed randomly over most part of the body, area widespread or within the anatomical region. That is hepatiform, for example, varicella zoster, solid pupils with a cluster, or it may be coronized. Means that the presence of the new regions of the skin disease. If you try to, uh, you know, scratch the other part of the skin nearby, the same region will develop. That is called Kobner's phenomena. Coronized. You see in psoriasis at the site of the trauma. Trauma occurs in the psoriasis. Very near skin will also be 
develop psoriasis. That is called cope nurse phenomena. How distribution is concerned, how much the skin is involved, lateral part and relating to the affecting the distal extremities only, for example, ears, finger, toes. It may be distribution may be centripetal, central part of the body involved or centrifugal. The only the limbs are involved, not the central part. One thing is which I said the blotchical lines now. The blotchical lines, the lesions are seen in the blotchical lines following the roughly linear segmental pattern, only segments are involved. That is called the Blaschko lines. Described by the Blaschko, many birthmarks appear to be distributed within these segments. For example, you see the nevicular nevius multiple in the one line. I'll say this is Blaschko lines, not as a Blaschko lines. Not as a word. Now, Blaschko lines are all these lines of Blaschko, are the lines of the normal cell development of the skin. Ectodermal innovation, they are. The lines are only visible in those with the mosaic skin condition as, or chimaras, which are different cell lines containing the different genes. Mosaic means not only the one gene is there. Chimara means that the, uh, the mutation is there. These lines may express the different amounts of melanin or become visible due to the different susceptibility to disease. The important thing, blaschko lines. It means that if there are, they are arranged in a blaschko lines, there are certain diseases only. Diabetes, hepatiformis, herpes zoster, for example, and such individuals or nevisol or nevius, and such individuals they can become apparent as the holes, patches, streaks or lines in a linear or a segmental distribution over the skin. Segmental distribution. They follow a V-shaped over the back, S-shaped holes over the chest and sides, and wavy shapes on the head. Not all mosaic conditions follow the Blaschko lines, some of them, they, they are mosaic. The lines are believed to trace the migration of the embryonic cell. They do not correspond to the nervous, muscular, or lymphatic systems. Only the ectodermal area where the skin form from there, that is involved in the lines. That is why they are, they are derived from the ectoderm. The lines are not unique to the humans and can be observed in the non-human animals with the mosaicism in only one of the genes that are involved. Now here are the Blaschko lines. You see the elaboration here. The, they are straight linear one, the worldly appearance in the head, the baby in appearance, etc. If the legions appear here, you see this condition. In the back, the whole appearance, all pigmented pigmentation, pigmentation occurs. It is arranged in the Blaschko lines. So Blaschko lines, they are appearing in the Blaschko lines. If they are, please mention it. Or dermatomal means specific dermatomal is involved. Regions confined to one more segment of the skin are visited by specific single spinal nerve. They are called dermatomes. That is, for example, the happy zoster. Extensor involving only the extensor surface of the limb. Contrast with the flexural surface. Flexural related to the flexion or skin fold such as the backs of the knees, the armpits, the elbow crease, and the groin. If these are blush lines, remember these blush lines. Or the legion may be follicular, located with around the hair follicles, for example, boils, generalized all over the body, most of the anatomical region accordingly. Hepatiform means solid papules with a cluster. The coronalized the appearance of new region of skin disease such as psoriasis at the site of the trauma and photosensitive increase the reactivity of the skin to the light and head and neck, spears, eyelids, depth of the wrinkles and furrows, areas showed by the hair, nose and chin typically involve V of the neck. Again is the blush colonies. Here is the importance of it. If the region appears like this, Back of the hands, forearms, feet, lower legs, trunk, some of the pressure point areas, stops of the ears when sleeping, buttocks when sitting, healing, heels when lying, these are, and the lesions appear there, only pressure points. The ciboria, relating to the ciboric, the is an abnormally increased secretion in the child with sebum, fatty lubricant, matter secreted by the sebation gland, the ciboric. 
producing an oily appearance to the skin and the formation of the grease and the greasy scales. And gender is again the terminology we are using parallel. Gender is the again it is the shedding and shedding and shedding of the epidermis. If it is mixed with the seboria, it is called seboric type of a dermatitis. So seboric keratosis, a common harmless body growth is seen. Symmetrical both sides are seen as similar. Asymmetrical or symmetrical. Trunkal, fewer trunk and fewer the effect limbs. Unilateral, the rash affects only one side of the body. You can use terminology like this. Now the configuration of the lesions are concerned. Pulse. This part, the configuration, what do you mean by configuration? I mean shape type. Of. So I will, I will uh, carry it on on the next, you know, my presentation because I, it is, if I will go through it, will, uh, it will be a, a big presentation, a long duration, and long duration presentations are not, uh, uh, you know, digested by most of the people. I don't know why, but they do not they don't they don't, don't like it so i will continue it with the part uh, session 2 uh, for the completion of the dermatology basic dermatological terminologies i hope that you can understand please try to understand it because if you are going to you want to understand the mycology which is infectious disease or other than that you are going the immunocompromised patient the so hiv the lesions you have to describe it the skin should be described properly. That is why, inshallah, I will see on the session to Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.